Member for Fraser Nicola. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today I want to share with this House one of the many treasures you will find in my riding. And no, I'm not speaking about my precious grandchildren, but I could be. I am speaking about the Coquihalla Canyon Park, better known as Othello Tunnels. Located just outside of the community of Hope, when operating, the park attracts up to 70,000 visitors a season. It is an economic driver for the area and is certainly seen as one of their major attractions. Built in the early 1900s, the Canadian Pacific Railway decided a route was necessary to link the Kootenay region with the British Columbia coast by rail. In the Coquihalla Gorge, the river cut a 300-foot deep channel of solid granite. A straight line of tunnels was built through it, which are now known as the Othello Tunnels. They are spectacular. There are viewing opportunities available on the trail. You walk through the tunnels and over the bridges, and the Coquihalla River, the color of the river, is unbelievable. This park highlights the Kettle Valley Railway grade that passes through the canyon and the five tunnels that were built in 1914. The Hope Council, local First Nations, and tourism associations have been working hard to assist the government in the recovery process to get the park cleaned up and safe for visitors after the atmospheric river. I'm pleased to say the recovery work in the park this spring will allow people to experience the park up to the second tunnel. Work will continue with a goal of full opening in 2025. For those of you who are traveling to the interior from the coast, Othello Tunnels is a wonderful halfway stop. Take a short walk, marvel at the beauty of nature and the engineering feats of the early 1900s.